Welcome to this video. In this video, I will share about my final year project where the title is Pineapple Peel as a Potential Biosurbent for the Removal of Heavy Metals from Eco Solution. Let's start with the fruit that people love and hate when it comes as a pizza topping. This fruit is called pineapple and the scientific name for this fruit is Ananas Commosus. This fruit is known as a large juicy tropical fruit that consists of aromatic edible yellow flesh surrounded by tough skin. Pineapple is a very versatile plant where it can be eaten raw or cooked and there are a variety of foods incorporating pineapple such as pizza. As you go to any supermarket to buy some groceries, I believe that you have seen a pineapple jam, pineapple juice, pineapple in a can and even skin of pineapple. Have you ever wondered how much waste is produced from the food and beverages industry that use pineapples as their product? The reason I'm asking you this is because we only eat the yellow flesh from this fruit and it is only about 65% and the rest of the fruit is the peel that cannot be eaten. Let me give you a clear example. One kilogram of pineapple jam uses about five small pineapples. And can you calculate the waste accumulated when a factory produces 1000 kg of jam monthly? Let's take a break from the pineapple for a while. Now, I would like to tell you about heavy metals. Where can we find heavy metals? Well, this natural compound can be found inside the earth crust and this compound is non-degradable and cannot be destroyed. Actually, there is a presence of heavy metals in our environment and this might be due to metal corrosion and natural phenomena such as weathering and volcanic eruptions. Why were we concerned about the heavy metals presence? Actually, this compound is considered pollutant to our environment because of their toxicity. Not just the environment is affected, but we as a human can be dangerous if we are overly exposed to this compound. This study will focus on one type of heavy metals called lead. Lead is a highly toxic metal that can be found on the wastewater. Being exposed to lead can affect human health and lead poisoning was considered to be a classic disease. Sudden exposure to this compound may lead to loss of appetite, headache, pain in the abdomen, insomnia, and dizziness. Can you predict what lead can do when we are overly exposed to this compound? Well, the answer is our organs such as brain and kidney can be damaged by lead. You already know what is pineapple and what is heavy metals, right? And I know you must be wondering, what is the relation between these two? Do you remember what is the title of my project? Let us recap. It is the potential of pineapple peel as biosurbent for the heavy metal removal from aqua solution. Can you imagine how pineapple peel can be a hero for us when it can help to remove the heavy metals that are dangerous to us? This fruit will be used as a biosurbent for the biosorption process. This is a process that I will tell you in a moment. Biosorption is a process that has been studied recently due to the promising effect on heavy metals removal. This process basically involves agricultural waste and in this study, it is the pineapple peel. For your information, on the surface of the pineapple peel, there are several multifunctional groups that can be used to bind with heavy metals and the porosity of the surface also helps. Why did we use this process and is there any conventional process to remove heavy metals? The answer is yes, there is a conventional process to remove heavy metals. However, this process usually involves higher cost and might generate a chemical sludge. The reasons why we use this process is that this process has major advantages over conventional treatment method, including low cost, high efficiency, minimization of chemical sludge, no additional nutrient requirement, regeneration of biosurban, and the possibility of metal recovery. From what I already told you, I believe that you have the ideas on how this project can give us the benefit in the future. Now, let me share with you how the pineapple peel transforms into a biosurban. Raw pineapple peel will be washed using water and then pounded by a beater. After the beating process, the pounded pineapple peel will be filtered and washed before dried at 50 degrees Celsius in a drying oven overnight. Then, the next process will involve the saponification process of the pineapple peel before chemically modified using succinic anhydride in reflux dimensions sulfoxide solvent. After preparing the chemically treated pineapple peel, we can move to the next step which is using FTIR and SEM to study the character and difference between raw pineapple peel and chemically treated pineapple peel. The reason why we want to treat the pineapple peel is this process helps to introduce hydroxyl groups onto the surface of the pineapple peel. 
Then, by using the treated pineapple peel, we will determine the optimum pH of the heavy metal solution. A fixed mass of modified pineapple peel will be used on the different pH values of heavy metal solution. The pH value of the lead ion solution ranging from 3 to 6. pH of the solution studied because adsorption capacity of biosorbent can affect it if the heavy metal solution is very low or even very high. The optimum amount of biosorbent also determines where this experiment will involve a fixed pH value of lead ion solution with different amounts of modified pineapple peel used. All of the methods involved will help this project to determine several factors. This process is believed to be one of the promising processes to remove heavy metals from aqueous solution since the material used in this process mainly involves agricultural waste and natural compounds. In this study, the pineapple peel will be used and proposed as the biosorbent. Thank you.